and welcome to Talkin' Tigers. I'm Rachel Whitaker. We're through one week of LSU fall camp, so let's jump into our second week of daily shows with LSU beat writer Randy Rosetta. Randy, nice to have you back on. Hey, Rachel, how's it going? Doing well. Well, we learned last week of LSU defensive tackle Quentin Thomas's torn biceps that could keep him out for a significant amount of time, unfortunately. But he and Christian Lackacher were are the most experienced on that defensive line that's actually one of the most youthful positions that LSU has. So if Thomas is out for any big length of time, how do you think that would affect that unit? Honestly, I'm not sure it will have a huge impact, and that, that's not to diminish what Quentin did last year, but he didn't have a huge impact last year. No, the two tackles last year, uh, Freak Johnson and Ego Ferguson, got most of the snaps. You have uh, Quentin Thomas and, and Christian Lackacher, who played a lot but didn't really contribute a ton. Those two maybe are the, the primary guys, but Frank Heron, Greg Gilmore, there's a lot of guys that were kind of chomping at the bit to get in there. It won't surprise me if you see four, five, six guys rolled in there on a regular basis as LSU keeps guys fresh and tries to see who's most ready for that level. So you don't like to lose a projected starter in the first week of camp, but I think LSU can recover from that pretty quickly because that was very much an area of unknown coming into fall camp anyway. Right, and you caught up with Lackature at Sunday's media day, and what did he have to say about kind of taking over almost the the leadership role on the defensive line? Yeah, it's kind of weird when you're talking to a second-year player about right. being a leader, and he's kind of in a weird spot. He's a leader in that tackles group because they're so young, but then he said when you get out there on defense, there's a lot of old grizzled veterans out there, so you kind of have to you you are vocal with your group but then you kind of step back and listen when you're in the complete defense he's a very sharp kid he's uh, his mom is in the military he's moved around 11 or 12 times had committed to, to nebraska thought about committing to texas a&m wound up at lsu played uh, high school ball out in, in uh, west texas at a uh, very famous odessa permian so he's a very sharp kid uh, his dad's a, a former hockey player he's kind of got a little bit of a hockey player mentality. I think he is a very solid guy to lead that group. Uh, Frank Herron's maybe a little bit physically more imposing. Greg Gilmore maybe a little bit more physically imposing. But Lackacher, I think, is a guy who will lead by example and kind of set a tone for those guys. Right. John Chavis said the team must look ahead to that next guy in case an unfortunate injury happens. So we'll see which of those redshirt freshmen might come up big in Quentin Thomas's place. Well, Randy, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Okay. Sounds good, Rachel. And thank you for watching Talking Tigers. See you back here Tuesday.